All right, friends, here we are. This is the retaining wall. The first blocks are being set. All right, friends, I just had this retaining wall built. And if you'd like to see what it takes to build this retaining wall, stay tuned for the time-lapse video showing the complete build from the foundation all the way up to the capstone. This wall has 128 below grade blocks, 33 above grade blocks, and 18 capstones. So stay tuned for the time-lapse showing the complete build from the foundation all the way up to the capstone. All right, friends, we got a little bit of sunshine left in this day. We're going to come in here and, and cut the slope right here. We're going to try to make a flat spot for the retaining wall. So let's get started. All right, friends, the day is just about done and I think I'm finished roughing in the retaining wall footing pad. It's all ready for the retaining wall contractor to come in. And... All right, here's our first truck. Here's our second truck. Getting ready to unload. He's gonna drop his bucket, click of a switch. His bucket is off. And now he's unloading the blocks. Here they brought in 20 cubic yards of crushed limestone aggregate material to be used for the footing base. All right, they're starting to lay down the first layer of crushed limestone base. It's gonna be about eight inches thick, and then they will run over that with a compactor. And then once that's finished, they're gonna add a second eight inch thick layer and compacting that one also, giving the total footing to be about 16 inches thick. There it is. There's the first block getting ready to be set. And there it is. First block's been set.
This area the excavator is at is the patio area. And he's pulling out of there right now to a new location. And as soon as he leaves that area, you're going to see the skid steer and loader start to backfill that area and uh, prepare it for uh, the, drain, the drain pipe and the drain cloth system and the drain rock. No wasted moments with this crew. They're all in radio contact with one another and uh, they work very efficiently. All right, here you can see them begin to unroll the drain pipe and lay it between the retaining wall and my root cellar staircase. So this is the time you'll see me go in there and lay down a quarter inch pink Owens Corning insulation uh, to protect my peel and stick waterproof membrane from the drain rock. Of course, the drain rock is different than the crust limestone base the drain rock is smooth and round rock and uh, less chance of uh, poking a hole but I still wanted to add that quarter inch um, insulation for extra protection this is the end of the first day and we're talking about the progress made and how well everything's going And back at it on the second day. Things are rolling real well. One of the crew members was telling me that they could set about 53 blocks per day. Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending upon the conditions and what they have to work around. Here they're working with the drainage system, pulling drain rock from the dump truck and placing it uh, between the rock wall and the drain cloth and they're using the excavator to backfill and push uh, the material up in tight. The top blocks in this area are called grass top blocks. They have a four inch lip allowing the grass to grow right up to the edge. Over here, we're reclaiming material from the excavated root cellar project and using it to backfill against the retaining wall. Here is a cloud of dust, as you can see, from the special saw that they use for trimming and cutting the block uh, to get them to fit exactly the way they need to fit. Here the 
excavator is adding topsoil to the slope edge out there and the topsoil will aid in growth to the vegetation uh, to help control erosion. All right, friends, today's a new day, and this is the third day we're working on the retaining wall project. This is the third truck and the final truck, and the majority of this material on this truck is stone and block that's gonna go above grade. A lot of this block is decorative on both sides, and it's going to be used to create a patio area. I know I'm pushing it walking around here with all this equipment running around. It's a serious thing. Just to let you know, dollar for dollar, everything that I spent on here improves and goes to improving the property value. Now, this is not landscape. This falls in the category of hardscape. And whenever you add a hardscape to your property, it's uh, dollar for dollar. It increases uh, your property value. So I'm feeling good about that, uh, but I'd still do it anyway. Uh, I really, uh, I really like the look of this rock. At this point, you can see they're cleaning and checking the bottom of the block. Anything that's stuck on there, they chip and scrape it off, assuring that that block will sit level. This takes a lot of extra time, all these details. But your final product is a good, well-built wall that will last. This is the patio area that they are working on right now, and you can see the rock is decorative on both sides. We'll give it a nice look for the patio. It's starting to rain a little bit at this point. All right, they're now beginning to put the capstones uh, around the patio area, and uh, this means the wall is getting close to being finished. Now the tallest point, this section here, is about eight feet tall.
Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.